Welcome to another episode of Countdown to Infinity, a Marvel's Avengers podcast. Ooh, I woke up the cat. Um, we talk all <laughs> things Marvel Cinematic Universe, the movies, the TV shows, the streams, the streams, yep. all of the, the all of the all of the fun things that we've been following for the last my gosh, 10 years, decade. 10 years. And we're we're we're, we're excited. We just wrapped up our episode by episode uh, conversation around Falcon and Winter Soldier, yeah. WandaVision, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's been back to back to back, huh? Yeah, it's going to be nice to take a little break and just Mm, relax because watching TV on the couch has just been (laughs) exhausting. Shut up. (laughs) We probably, how much time do you think we spend a day? I don't, I I don't want to think about that. (laughs) It's hours and hours. We could probably be doing. Oh, it's days. We could probably be volunteering or something. Yeah. You know. But here we are. Here we are. (laughs) But hey, you can't volunteer at 2 a.m. at night. But who would do this for the people? Yes, this is our volunteering. We're not getting paid for this. No, no. We're we're doing this for... For For you guys. For you guys. And who knows, some of the people listening might be in... Uh, you know, an, uh, an orphanage yeah, or, or in just a soup ha- kitchen. Just hard times. Hard and times. We are and this there is it for them. to entertain you. Yes. So we are... Hey, so we're doing this uh, altruistically. We're doing this yes. as saints. Mm-hmm. We we expect to be saints. Yes. Yes. At the, the end, uh, at the end, at of, the this. end of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We expect the, the Pope. Yeah. I don't know how long you, you have to wait. You better come knock have, on my door. You have to wait like 30 years after you're dead. I don't know no, the no, rules. No, 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 You got to break those rules for us. We want it, we want a church. I want to see it. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Emmanuel. My name is Sophia. And we are talking this week about some MCU news. We're going to take a talking. fun quiz. Yeah. Because we have a little bit of a break. Loki, the next Disney Plus series, mm-hmm. comes out June 11th of 2021. Yeah. That's about six or seven weeks from now. Oh. And then we have Black Widow afterwards. Yeah. But we've got a little bit of a break. A little bit of a break. And uh, but, but but take a break. Yeah, so we can just talk to you. We can go upstate. Uh, okay. I forgot the rest of the words. <laughs> but we're we're gonna we're talking about some MCU news this week. Before we get into it, though, we want to hear from you. We I want know to know. <laughs> There's a place I know. We want to hear from go. you. <laughs> we want to know what you thought of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yes. And for WandaVision. Mm-hmm. Um, and really just what these Disney Plus series have been doing to you, <laughs> if you've liked watching them. And also tell us about uh, tell us about what movies that you might have liked. <laughs> you might hear our cat. Our cat is crying <laughs> in the background. But it's fine. <laughs> But if you if you are interested in letting us know your thoughts, you can follow us on social media at Delphin Pod D E L F I N P O D. Uh, send us messages there on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, or you can email us at info at Delphin Pod. So I N F O at D E L F I N P O D. Uh, or you can give us a call and leave us a voicemail at our phone number, which is five one two nine three seven D Pod. 512-937-3763. So those are the ways you can let us know. And all this I'll put in the description as well. Okay. But we want to hear your thoughts. Uh, we, You know, we've done this before. And we've gotten some really cool messages, phone messages. Y- yes. Oh, I remember. Um, I think this is how we first contacted one of our listeners from Japan. Wow. And there was another listener from, uh, I know for sure from Europe, there's like a bunch of We have a uh, lot of uh, lot English of listeners, listeners. Which I love. Hello, guys. Britain, um, yes. We're sorry for your loss. Yes. Prince. Yes. Oh, Philip. Philip. Philip, yeah. Mm-hmm. Prince? Prince? He's not a king. Okay. Yeah, Never mind. no, he's but not yes, a king. It's we're Prince so, Philip. If, we're sorry for your loss. Yes. If you, if you're, yeah, sorry yes. about that. Um, and then there was some people from, oh, I want to say Canada. Wow. Some listeners from Canada. A real, a real foreign country yeah. to us. <laughs> yeah. Canada. But it was just, it was just so cool. It's so, so, so cool to see who is from where and um, to just, honestly, to just listen to you guys one-on-one. Like, it's it's just nice because it's, uh, it's good to know that uh, people actually listen. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to know that we aren't just weirdos. You guys are real? <laughs> I forgot to say that we're lovers. But yes, yeah, so oh again, gosh. all of that will be in the description description but you can leave us a voicemail 512-937-DPOD 512-937-3763 and that is going to give uh, uh, you the ability to leave a message and we'll talk about what, what your thoughts are yeah uh, for the mcu yeah all right mm-hmm. so that's done done 
we, we're, check we're, it off. We expect to hear you next week. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't like expect to hear all of you, I but I would it. like to hear some of you. You know, we have a PO box too. Should I say it or no? Yeah, for sure. Mail in your stuff too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you if you send want, us some stuff. Yeah, if months from now you want to hear <laughs> about what you, your thoughts what you, are, yeah, or or if you just want to send mail, send us something random, and then months from now we'll mm. be like, hey, yeah. this is from you, person. Send hate mail. <laughs> uh, go to PO no. box. Uh, you can mail it to PO box six seven two five San Antonio Texas seven eight two zero nine. Okay. All right. I'll put that in the description as well. Well, let's get into it. Let's talk about some of the things that are in production. We actually got our first look at at She Hulk, Kamala Khan, her, yeah. her in costume. I, what do you think about these leaks? Do you do you like seeing pictures from are they, set? Or are not they really? are they actual leaks though? Are they, oh, I see. You or think are it's they, planned? Or are they publicists' leaks? You know what I'm saying? Like a publicist could be just. I figured this out. I didn't figure it out, but I was notified about it. And I was like, that makes so much more sense to me. Like, yeah. Oh uh, my gosh. Cause like, you know, it's when, a little conspiracy. when some publications have like these stories that are quote unquote leaked or like they have a, an, like a, what is it? It's like a, not an unnamed source. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, like an I'm, anonymous. Yeah. Like an anonymous tip or like a friend of so-and-so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's just, it's probably just their publicist. I mean, not yeah. like all the time, but I'm talking about like, like if some crazy scandal happened, like between a relationship, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber, okay. like back well, in the day. <laughs> bring it back to MCU. You know, well, yeah, MCU stuff. No, but, but I, think, I think that makes sense. I, and especially if it is leading up to a Marvel related role, like of course you're going to want to blow that shit up. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I would want my publicist to release everything I'm giving them. Everything well, that they, everything that's possible i think we've seen you know pictures and footage of of thor love and thunder there's a spoiler we'll talk about later on there with one of the characters we've seen hawkeye we've seen a lot of the costumes already for these shows yeah but i think it's a mix of them not being able to keep people from sharing the information (laughs) because there are definitely pictures that are like super zoomed in from yeah 400 miles away yeah satellite photos yeah and then there's also like tom holland stitches like yeah (laughs) where he tells you accidental (laughs) this reminds me of one of this is maybe early 2000s x-men the very first x-men movie was coming out with hugh jackman and there was a leak (gasps) of wolverine's uniform costume it did not go well. People hated it, oh, and no. it happened uh, like basically Rewrite. fast enough that they redid the costume. Yeah. For oh, Wolverine. it's like a Sonic situation. Remember? Um, yeah. Sony, was it Sony? DreamWorks. Uh, Paramount. Paramount. Oh my gosh! I only How remember that I? because I remember <laughs> the Paramount logo and the stars became rings mm, and Sonic. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. But yeah, that's yeah, yeah. really the only um, reason I remember that. <laughs> it's like with the Sonic stuff. Like they released the images of what he would mm. look like, and everyone hated it, and then yeah. they redid it, and he looks great now. Ah, uh, yeah, the Snyder cut. All right. Mm, so yes, yes, I can. I get that. How dare you? This is sorry, a Marvel sorry, show, sorry, sir. Sorry. But yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> it makes sense that if they wanted to test out, for example, the Kamala Khan costume. Yeah. And if they're like, I don't know if people are like and that's, this. That's what I'm saying. It's probably they a, can at least it's, know. It's they can green lighted to be released. Whether yeah. people will like it or not. Although mm-hmm. I'll say, like, what are they gonna do? Reshoot the whole thing with a different costume? It seems nah. kind of. But they. Can, I mean, if they can animate all of freaking vision yeah. they vision can face sh- hole. they can for sure animate something in there well there's a lot and we're not going to dive into too many of these leaks you can probably google and see all of the costumes uh, i will say the common thread is the majority of them are comic accurate which is interesting yeah i love that yeah i think it's just pleasing the people yeah paying a lot of homage but i mean very very closely like exactly yeah some of them very colorful maybe hokey Mm. But that's that's kind of what a lot of these people are, are are wearing, which is interesting. Yeah, in, in the in these shots. But yeah, Google them if you want to. If you don't want to, don't, don't. worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I, the news that I wrote down, some of them, like I'm really, I don't even know if we'll talk about it because it they're they're pretty big spoilers um, potential to the movies. Okay, but they could lead. Can into you other tell things. me what movies you're referring to? Yeah, and you know what, before, it, Let's talk about what movies they are, and then give the people the chance to, to choose leave. on whether they not I whether see. or not skip they want to not. skip ahead. Okay. Yeah. Well, before we do that, okay. Let's talk about Eternals. Obviously, Chloe Zhao, record breaking, is the Ooh, first Oscars, woman Oscars, of color Oscars. to win an Oscar oh, for gosh. Best Directing. And Cried. she is, of course, making the Eternals film. And yeah. in the wake of her Oscar, Disney wants to take all kinds of credit. <laughs> you know, a super producer of Marvel, Paul Feige, has mm-hmm. done interviews talking about her win. Mm-hmm. And he says that the movie is not only really, really good, but... <laughs> 
they surprised quite a few people with the way they made it. So we saw Nomadland. Mm-hmm. We well, cried. Cried. <laughs> but you can tell without knowing anything about like filmmaking that that movie is a smaller budget. F- budget, a smaller film, smaller in every set. sense. Of- it's Maybe just, zero effects. It's, it, it almost feels like an independent film, to be honest. And it is. Like, it's because a, it's, a it's small just indie movie. so, yeah. Yeah. And so it, 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 I mean, obviously that people have jumped up to really giant things before, like Marvel stuff. Ryan Coogler made Fruitvale Station, then made Black Panther. But mm-hmm. uh, he says that Chloe Zhao tried to keep as much of that small independent feel in, while shooting the Eternals, mm-hmm. said that she diminished, di- not diminished, but she <laughs> made the crew as small as possible to 25, which is Whoa. insane because normally there's 200, 300 people Especially on set. Especially in something Marvel. And a Marvel thing like this, definitely. Yeah. And that a lot of the effects and visuals were sh- were in camera, which means no special, special effects, effects, no green screen. Not to say there isn't any of it. That's but, you exciting. know, if they were shooting on a cliff in the middle of the ocean, then they were then in they the were middle of the ocean on a cliff. And we got a little bit more on what this movie is about. I mean, Jack Kirby from Marvel created kind of these insane characters, but the movie spans 7,000 years of human history. Cheese and so, rice. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> but it's impressing a lot of people. What are, are you excited for Chloe Zhao or what are you expecting to see from her? Of course I'm excited for Chloe. And then I'm also excited just because of the cast. I think we've talked about this before in previous eps. Like you have Camille. Angelina you have Jolie. Angelina Jolie. You have John like John Snow. You got you got all you got I mean, what else do you need? It's no wonder it's J- it Gemma seven. Chan Chan from um from uh uh ooh. Crazy Rich? Crazy Rich Asian. She's yeah. the main character, yes, I believe. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And I mean, it's no wonder it spans, what'd you say, 7,000 years, 700 mm-hmm. years? 1,000 7, or 100? I mean, hello, all, you have this beautiful range of diverse individuals with a, with an even bigger range of acting talent. Like, it's going to be, and then mixed with Chloe, like, it's going to be, I'm I'm so ready for it. Yeah. Like, I, I it's going it, to... Blech. I'm just gonna throw up. Like it's yeah. it's gonna be fantastic. It's interesting. Fantastic. You know this the the release date has changed quite a bit. It it's not a summer movie. It's now gonna be in in uh. If it's in, in the, the fall. In I'm the gonna fall, freak out. Oh my god. Around Thanksgiving. And uh, here's my thing. That's my favorite season. I feel like I don't know <laughs> if this is uh, super speculative. And obviously awards aren't the most important thing, but it's gonna be coming out in the height of award season. So I don't know oh. if Marvel thinks like huh. Maybe, Maybe we get back to back here. Oscars yeah. <laughs> from Chloe Zhao. <laughs> of course, like you know, it's the holidays, so it's just good to release a movie, anyways. Yeah. Hopefully, people are Hopefully back, we're in back in theaters. Yeah. yeah. That's also, I think, what they're doing. They're like, we want this to be. If it's going to be as spectacular screen. as I'm imagining it, I want it to be on screen. Yeah. It's going to be another Black Widow situation. They're just going to keep pushing it back until they see it yeah, on there. Yeah. Well, Black Widow again is coming out simultaneously. The release date is not changing anymore. It's set in stone. It's com- It's coming out. Uh, Sorry, I burped. <laughs> oh Drinking a Red Bull. Ah. Oh God! It's coming out. It's coming out in July. Um, also streaming on Disney Plus. But the reviews from people who have seen the film, they can't get enough of Florence Pugh, oh. who plays, I believe, uh, 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 the younger sister mm-hmm. of Black Widow. Yeah. And I, I mean, everyone assumes she's going to be stepping into that role in future Marvel things. I have already talked about how badass it looks in my mind. Yeah. Just to have these strong females fighting back to back. And I can already hear Florence with like a Russian accent or something. Yeah. Like an assassin, like a, just looking like a straight up assassin. Yeah. Just killing it literally. Oof. Mwah. I mean, it's one of the most exciting things about these Disney Plus series is you're getting introduced to the next generation of Avengers, Mm -hmm. really. I mean, I have a theory they're going to do a Young Avengers Mm -hmm. thing, Mm -hmm. um, you know, with with our new Falcon, with our new uh, Black Widow, with our new Hawkeye. Right. Uh, I mean, you know, She-Hulk is is coming out soon, Mm -hmm. Tatiana Maslany, Mm -hmm. Miss Marvel. So I'm... I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited. Getting all the youngins roundabout. Yeah, it makes sense. If this is a long-term Marvel thing, I mean, think about like Harry Potter and how people grew planting, up yeah, they have with to, Harry Potter. You definitely have to start planting seeds. Yeah. And uh, now is the time, especially with, especially with most people being at home and they have yeah. the ability to stream and the abil- like the mindset. Also, because people have stayed home, they're going to they're gonna want to capitalize on this feeling of like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get back to the theaters. I can't wait to get back yeah. to the theaters. I can't wait for normalcy. Like. 
It's gonna wanna. It's gonna. It's gonna, gonna pop see that off. Godzilla v Kong or that Mortal Kombat on the big screen, Oof, baby. Mortal Kombat, my God, no. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm excited for this because it seems like it's an investment in the future, and that really means that Marvel's gonna be here for to say. You know what that means? We're gonna be <laughs> podcasting forever until we die. Until we die. You hear that? <laughs> Until we die. <laughs> Ooh, rough. Uh, <laughs> Thor Love and Thunder has almost wrapped. It's almost done filming. This Gosh. Is it Taika? It's Taika Waititi. Mm. He, of course, gave an interview where he says it's the best Marvel movie ever. But, of course, that's his personality <laughs> to say something like that. God, I love him. The movie is almost done. It was filming in I Australia. Do wanna, I do want to say really quick, um, I love Taika. I'm oh just gonna boy. put that out there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he has an Oscar. Speaking of Oscars, yeah, he's he also an does. Oscar winner. Mm. He's got that. He's and got he has that. a Grammy. He does. He really? Yeah. Hmm. He you just didn't know that. that? You no. didn't know he got a Grammy for, for his what? song for Jojo Rabbit. I think oh, wow. it was for Jojo. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think he may be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember this now. Mm-hmm. He just needs that Tony he got baby. Su- he got baby. Oh, you know what? He did joke about that. He was mm-hmm. like, maybe I'll do a a, a theater a something. theater thing just to finish, just to do it. Wow. Okay. Oh, cool. God. Good for him. But he's Thor- just he's just planting. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he's just preparing for our future. And okay. It's, it's fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. A little nest egg. Just to support the girls. A little nut. <laughs> Isn't that what they call it? Like a little nut for yeah. later. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, a little nut for later. Little, oh, he's saving that nut <laughs> okay, for later. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, Russell Crowe's role <laughs> might have been revealed in the series, which is, I won't go into it. You can Google if you want. You should but, have said spoilers. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to know who Russell Crowe plays, because he is in the cast. Oh, okay. Google it. Just that's, just live yeah. your life. <laughs> live your life. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just tell people to Google it. Oh, my gosh. The only other thing that we got since we've started podcasting about Falcon Winter Soldier is the first trailer for Shang-Chi and the Legend right. of the Ten Rings. Oof. What do you think about that trailer? Um, I think it has a lot of abs in it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a lot of body. Yeah. Aquafina's um, abs. <laughs> so funny. Um, no, love Aquafina. Um, I'm excited to see this. I feel like they should have released this a long time yeah. ago. This is the first trailer. It's coming out in the summertime as well. Yeah, but I feel like it, it's been kind of put on a shelf for a little bit. Am I right? Or am I getting that wrong Well, it's been pushed back feeling? quite a bit. Okay. They've kind of hidden this trailer. I don't know if because they didn't realize when they were going to actually put it out mm-hmm. until... They're like, okay, it's actually happening. I mean, now's the climate for it here in the U.S. Yeah, so the uh, I'm, we we got to see the Mandarin. There, there is another spoiler. You can Google this, but <laughs> I mean, it's hard. You know, Funko Pops. <laughs> It's not a great transition. It's a nice segue. But Funko Pops are made... You know, uh, the thing about Funko is... <laughs> well, Fun- Funko Pops make a lot of really fun toys for every movie and TV show ever. No way. Yeah. But, yeah, Google... This is the ad. It's is, not is, an ad. It, is this a spoiler? But one of the things that has to happen because they have to create this stuff is they sometimes get pieces of the story before everyone else does. Mm-hmm. This happened in Wo- Wonder Woman. There was a huge leak for because of the Funko Funko Pop oh, that was yeah. made. Uh-huh. I'll say this, that that happens with Shang-Chi as well. There's already a Funko Pop that people are... And Questioning. We have a friend, Andrew works at a comic book store, so he gets to order these things, and he's like, oh man, that's crazy. Oh, I didn't that's know. interesting. Yeah, I didn't know there's characters in this movie, but there's something like that for Shang-Chi. For sure. So, if you want to see it, then uh, Google go, it. Go, go look at the Funko. <laughs> but we're not going to say it on the pod. But um, yeah, that's 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 uh, something you can look at. And I will say that this spoiler with the Funko Pop is huge. Oh, it's big time. Really? It's like really exciting. Well, now I'm curious. You Here's, know what? I'm gonna Google yeah, it. Yeah, here I picked your interest. <laughs> Here's what I'll say about the spoiler: is uh, it it is opening up another world. Oh. <gasps> In terms of Marvel. Oh, so, my gosh. We've already got sp- the galaxy. We've got space. We've got the Guardians. Everything that they're doing in, th- in the Thor movies. We've got now with WandaVision, the different dimensions. There's time travel with Loki. Um, uh, and then the thing that's happening in Shang-Chi is even even different from that. So uh, Something yeah. added on to that? I know, what else is world. there? So that's really exciting. All right. Well, th- that's all the stuff we want to talk about. It's time now for us to take a BuzzFeed quiz. I'm, uh, re- you know, we, we've been doing these. We've been doing them. <laughs> for the last couple. We've been doing them. We've actually taken a little bit of a break. So this one's a little bit shorter. Yeah, no, we took a break because of the streaming stuff. Yeah. And then now is we, now we back in it, baby. But, Up until July, y'all already know. Here is the quiz we are going to take. 
together. Okay. What's, it is, what is the title? We only need seven questions to determine which Falcon and the Winter Soldier character you are. Oh, so no. we're gonna take a quiz. If I get John Walker, John Walker, oh I will, boy, I will, I will not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's by Angelica Martinez from the BuzzFeed staff. She writes personally. I hope I'm Bird Boy or his angry metallic best friend. Um, this is uh, so yeah. If you go to BuzzFeed, just type in Falcon Winter Soldier, but with seven questions. Sophia and I will find out which of these characters. We are, I don't know who I want to be. I mean, obviously, I would love to be Falcon or the Winter Soldier. Maybe actually more Winter Soldier, you know. I think I would want to be Bucky. Bucky is, Bucky, I mean, he just doesn't have the butt for me, Zemo is cool, too? (gasps) Love to be Zemo. No, you know what? I want to be, I want to be Julie Louia. Uh, Julia Louie. yeah. Or part of the Dora Milaje. There's a lot. Oh, yeah. Or, um. Oh, let me pass you the iPad here. Or, um, I keep wanting to say Peggy, but it's not Peggy. Peggy? It's not Peggy Carter. The Hill? No. I want to be Peggy Hill. I want to be. <laughs> Is she in this? Totally quiz? different show. No, I want to be Sharon um, Carter. Sharon. Power Broker. Yeah. You know, I just watched a documentary about stolen art, and there's so much stolen art out there. It makes sense that she's kind of dealing with it. Wait, okay. <laughs> well, this is this is a side <laughs> note. If anyone here is an art thief... Uh, hit us up. Yeah, no, but here's what happens. <laughs> b- because obviously, Are you going to tell them what their punishment is? No, I'm going to tell you how you can, I guess, make how money you can do from it? this. <laughs> obviously, you can't sell stolen art to anyone who's regular. Wink, wink. And also, having <laughs> stolen art mm-hmm. is insane because someone will just recognize, oh, that's the Sea of Galilee by... You know, whoever wrote, oh man. By I Jesus. Remember who? who? <laughs> J- Monet? No? Oh boy. But you know, that's the Rembrandt? It's Rembrandt. Uh, I don't know. I think so. You're going to pretend like you know about art? I'm pretty sure it's Rembrandt. You don't know anything Look this about up. Art. It's like, oh, that's Sia Galley by Rembrandt. They'll just like call the cops because they're like, oh, I recognize that painting. Mm-hmm. Um, or this is a self portrait. Sea of Galilee is Rembrandt's only uh, mm-hmm. seascape. Yeah, no, keep going. What's it's, another it's, one by him? It's the only time. What's another one? Oh, going. Uh huh. <laughs> Self portrait. <laughs> but uh, in the criminal underworld, what you do is you have, <laughs> you get this in, Rembrandt, let's say, it, and you can borrow <laughs> cash for the quote unquote, you know, usage of it. And you can borrow 10% of the value of the art if you need to front to sell cocaine or to distribute or something like that. It's kind of wild, right? Did you say it's like pawning in the criminal underworld? Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyways, <laughs> let, let us know if, if that's something you're interested in. But guys, in. don't do that. But don't do it. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like I didn't explain it well. and. Yeah. No, that was perfect. Just Guys, just play it back and then re-listen. Yeah. And then see. And then tell me if it's take, called, take, tell me if Sea of Galilee notes. is a Rembrandt. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a call. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's do this. So here's our first question of the seven. Which of these words best describe you? Oh, Reliable, no. independent, determined, level-headed, funny, or ambitious? Okay. Well, for sure not level-headed. And do you think I'm funny? Ugh. He, 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 he. Um... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Uh, I think I'm. Rel- Where's uh? You should pick a bitch. I think. I- <laughs> Am I reliable? <laughs> ah, man, that's good. Maybe you should pick funny. Cause that was funny. <laughs> reliable. Yeah, you are. Thank you. I was waiting for it. My gosh. <laughs> oh. All right. You want to read the next one? No. I'm just Be- kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm just kidding. Pick another character to team up with. So you got Sarah Wilson. You got Lamar. You got Ayo. And you got Joaquin, my baby boy, Joaquin. And there's two more. Can you not see what? them? No, I don't see them. Scroll down. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Were there more to the yes. other one, too? No. Oh, and then there's Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, and then also James Rhodes, who of, is also Don Cheadle. You can have some from who Dora is also Milaje. War Machine. I don't know why Lamar is here because he's he's gone. Well, he's they're dead. supposed to be. They're supposed to be. I think a questionable okay. character in each one. Pick another character to team up with. I don't know. I. It's kind of crazy. You you kind of want Joaquin Torres because he's actually like in. Mm-hmm. He knows technology. He's yeah, going to be but, Falcon. But I want someone from wakanda what you mean yeah true you got resources my dude Valentina, look at what they we did know look what's at, up there they literally helped create the new cap i don't know if we want james rhodes war machine because he didn't help at all uh, yeah what's he, what's he got <laughs> i mean he has a the iron man suit but yeah he didn't help all right i picked mine 
Which of these Marvel movies is your favorite? Wow. Oof. Okay, so Captain America, The First Avenger, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Captain America, Civil War, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, or Avengers Endgame? All these are films that Sebastian Stan are in. How exciting. Because, yeah, even Sam Wilson is not in all these movies, but our Winter Soldier is. Okay. Hmm. He's at the end of Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Um, I picked mine. Hmm. Okay, I picked mine. Pick a quote from the show. Looking strong, John. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Every time something gets better for one group, it gets worse for another. That's true. Mm-hmm. Some people think that he's in a secret base on the moon looking down over us. Oh, Iron Man. Symbols are uh, nothing without the women and men that give them meaning. The world's broken. Everybody's just looking for somebody to fix it. Mm-hmm. Or does he always just stare like that? These are all funny and true. Funny? Well, like, you know, they're either really funny or they're oh, like... Oh, I see. True. I think that some people think that he's in a secret base on the moon looking down over us. That's, I think that's a reference to Dr. Manhattan from uh, Watchmen. I thought that that was about Iron Man. Oh, I thought that was about Captain America. <laughs> we got to watch this again. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. It is about Cap. It is about Cap. You're right. You're right. I don't know where is. Why is it Iron Man? He you're got, just missing him. He gone. Yeah. yeah. I, all right. Spoiler. I picked mine. <laughs> mine too. What's your greatest weakness? I lose my cool easily. I'm very stubborn. Yep. I'll have to choose between those two. Yeah, I know. Uh, I can only, I can be overly cynical. That's true. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I find it difficult to trust others. Not wow. that I'm all right with. Um, I think the best of everyone. I struggle to see things from others' point of views. No, I'm actually really empathetic. Um, um, I would say my biggest weakness is I'm just too hard a worker. Oh my gosh! Like, like an interview. interview. What would you say if they're like, "So, what's your greatest weakness?" Um, would you be like, "I, I think I, I over care. no, I think I overwork myself." Oh my god, that's literally what I just said. What that I work too hard? Oh shit! <laughs> you just right. said that. Ugh, roll my eyes. But that's literal though. Like mm. I work myself until I can. Hey, guess, if guess I'm what? not doing you got something, the job. calm down, okay? No, if I'm not doing something, I get anxiety from just like not doing anything. I can easily just yeah. freak out and just be like, What what what's do? What what do I have to do? Do we are we supposed to pod? Like should we be editing something? Like what do I gotta do? Like I always feel like I need to be doing something. So, so you're probably which one are you gonna pick then from the list that we've been given? I really don't know. Maybe because I'm stubborn. Yeah. Like I, I'm I'm set in my ways. I, I put guess. I, I can be overly cynical. Don't you think I'm cynical? No. I always try to explain everything. No. Okay. Maybe I think are the you best serious? of everyone is you that try a to explain everything? Is that what you just said? Yeah. No. Okay. There are some days where you're like, I don't know. And then you just leave it. And you're like, <laughs> I'm true. like, okay, man. What about, I think the best of everyone. I think you find it difficult to trust others. I don't think you're naive at all. Hmm. Okay. Or you str- no, you struggle to see things from people's point of view. No, I do that. Hey, are you crying? Oh, yeah. I guess I say uh-huh. that to people who are crying. <laughs> there was this one time when there was a... L- <laughs> no, don't. But don't say these examples. Save that for Patreon. But yes, I get it. <laughs> Oh All right, gosh. pick a location from the show. <laughs> Washington, D.C., Madripoor, <laughs> New York City, Delacroix, Ooh. Louisiana, Riga, Latvia, or Munich, Germany. I'm Why s- would someone pick Germany like I'm, Munich? I'm, oh, I'm boy. S- I'm so happy that you said all of these because I would have butchered these. The names? Hard. Delacroix. Yeah. I actually like Louisiana. It's have you ever a been? Mix. Yeah. When did you go to Louisiana? We've, we've been to Louisiana, too. We've driven through. We've driven through it. I've never been to oh, it. Okay. Like, I want to go to I've never it, been to, to New it. Orleans. I've been to, like, some really tiny <laughs> spots there. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, it was nice. Um, it's very humid. I don't like New York. I don't... Oh, I've never been to D.C. It, it, D.C. is beautiful, but, I mean... I don't know. Do you like politics? <laughs> I feel like right now it wouldn't be the place to go. Everything's closed over there. Yeah, true. Um, Latvia. I've never been know. to Latvia. What is that? Where is that? That's kind of uh, by. Well, I mean, I think that's where Sokovia's region is, like Russia, mm, Asia. What? Asia. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Isn't Russia a part of Asia? Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> normally. Is that what you said? You said Russia, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Maybe Madripoor, because that was you couldn't really, really handle cool. Madripoor. 
Baby, I can handle Madripoor. Mm, whatever. <laughs> All right, finally picking an original Avenger to be best buds with. Oh, Tiger's not on here. Um, Thor, Black Widow, Iron Man, Captain America, Hawkeye, or Hulk, baby. Mm, Hulk seems like a good friend. I would say Iron Man and Captain America are so volatile. Um, as as friends, oh, I, I don't mean, know. But to be best buds with no, best friends, I do not want to be best friends with Iron Man or Captain America. I feel like Black Widow will always have your fucking back. Yeah, Thor seems fun. Thor seems temperamental. Hawkeye is a good best friend. Yeah, but he's also temperamental. No, he's not. Is he not? No, he's the one that centers the whole group after Endgame. Oh, oops. Same with Black Widow. She kind of saves them too. Yeah, Thor's kind of a big baby. Hulk, I think, is fun too. I would pick. I'm gonna pick. I think I like Hulk. <gasps> wow! Did you see who I got? No. Oh, okay. All right. I'll I got tell you mine. Who, I'll tell you who, who I got. I'll I got show Baron. you mine if you show me yours. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Very interesting. So I got Baron Helmet Zemo. <gasps> you definitely have Zemo energy. You tend to come across as cold and calculating at first, but you warm yes. up once people get to know you. True. You're a natural, <laughs> opinionated person and will not hesitate to take a stand and do what you think is right. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, a, I, don't a, think, I don't think mm, any of that is I'm right. I'm a coward. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's exciting. I got Baron Zemo. I can. I do the dance. Mm. Am I right? Hot. Yeah. And you got? I got Sharon Carter, baby. Power broker. Hell yeah. That's what I wanted. Uh, you have big Sharon Carter energy. You've got a dark sense of humor. True. A fiercely independent spirit. Okay. And are a realist at heart. You call the shots and aren't afraid to get your hands a little dirty to do Oh, to do, sorry, to get the job done. Wow. Yeah. So that thing that I was talking about with art, you understand that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so here. Tell us what how to get rid of uh how to get how to leverage I got you, baby. Ain't no, ain't no thing. Well, that's exciting. You know, two characters that have no chemistry with each other <laughs> and barely talk to each other. That's what we got, baby. <laughs> you know, if we got Bucky and Sam Wilson, that'd be the closest to a couple, I think, in the show. No. I think... You don't think so? No. I think... Um, oh, is there a couple in the show? No, not really. There's some flirting there's between Bucky Sam Wilson's and, sister. There's Bucky and... Um, that lady at the restaurant. True. At that the very like first a, episode. Because they the were on a date date. One. Yeah, they went on a date. Yeah, they went on a date. But he seems scared. <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. Well, hey, <laughs> that is the end of our show. I'm going to plug our ways to reach us before Sophia plugs her stuff. But again, we want to hear from you and what you thought of the streaming shows WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Maybe tell us what you're most excited for. That that phone number you can leave a message at is 512-937-3763. 512-937-DPOD. Mm-hmm. You can also find us at Delphin Pod on social media. All this will be in the description and our email will be there too if you want to email us or if you want to send us something that's P.O. Box 6725 San Antonio, Texas 78209. But Sophia, what do you have to plug? Just the same old, same old stuff. Just thank you so much everyone for listening to the pod. If you want, feel free to go to our Patreon. Patreon.com slash DelphinPod. D-E-L-F-I-N-P-O-D. John and Andrew have an episode there right now about what they thought of Falcon yeah. Winter Soldier. Oh, you can go see the boys or go listen to the boys. The boys. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, if you want, you can totally follow me on any social media. Everything's going to be at underscore simply Sophie. Oh, except my Twitch, but I don't remember what I put down for my Twitch. Wow. So. And you know yeah. what? Let us know if you want us to Twitch something. Yeah, I, I kind of st- want to Twitch something. Yeah, yeah, we can stream. I'm always twitching. No. Is that how you say it? No. Is that what the youth say? I mean. I'm always tweaking. Oof. That's a different thing. <laughs> all right. But yeah, listen, uh, l- listen to every, all of our Delphin Pod shows. Thanks so much for supporting us. We'll see you next week with more news. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.